Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, out here for another course review, and today I'm talking about the Level 1 Introduction to Night Vision course by the training company Koival Dar. We should probably start with the name of that company, Koival Dar, which I may or may not be pronouncing correctly. If you like to geek out on Star Wars and stuff, you will appreciate it. It's in reference to the 100 Mandalorians that were selected by Jango Fett to go train all the troopers, all the stormtrooper clones. So that is the name of the training company. Owner operator, Sean, he runs it. An incredibly talented individual, most certainly passionate about his craft. So this first course is a level one. It is basically an introduction to night vision. And to that end, it was structured to where there was a number of hours during the day. And then in that transitional period, as right after sunset, as it was starting to actually get dark, dark, there was a block of lecture, which I don't know, probably all said and done, probably about two hours, and then flowed into the last half of the course, which was of course during the nighttime and basically the opportunity for you to put what you had practiced during the day into application at night under nods and a big section of learning right there in the middle. So first thing was first, we ended up going out there and initially safety brief, kind of standard fare, med brief, pretty involved med brief to include evac plan, all of those things like that and then kind of got into it. Initially starting with confirming zeros with day optics, as well as any day lasers. And then from there, pretty much started working on some different drills. I wish I had a bunch of footage for you, kind of showing you what we were working through during the day, but I don't, in part because on the one hand, I was really fortunate. Super small class, myself, one other student. Because of that, moves really quick. Usually when I'm in a larger class, People are sitting there, jamming mags, doing whatever, and it gives me more opportunity to go set up my camera, do all those things. So, regrettably, I don't have a bunch of footage from what we did during the day. But, for the most part, we ended up replicating it at night. But after kind of working through a number of different skills during the day, we broke for, basically broke for dinner slash lecture portion. And honestly, that is, like, that's the money portion of this introduction to night vision course incredibly in-depth in a meaningful way as far as night vision like holistically one how it works what you can actually use it for how you can employ it and then also which is huge basically what you're looking for in night vision so think of breaking down like a spec sheet basically and it's like okay like this is actually what these numbers mean in reference to the tube that's in this PBS 14 or RNVGs, whatever they may be. Really, really interesting stuff. One thing that definitely came across during that kind of lecture block was one, Sean's obvious passion in the subject and two, his knowledge of it. Started out kind of, again, big picture, like this is how things work like here's the light spectrum this is where we fall into the infrared spectrum dipped a little bit into talking about sphere short wave ir basically a little bit further on that spectrum mainly used for military things like that and then got into kind of how it works so photocathode your micro channel plate and it's kind of like okay like where is this going well it's important because everything builds on that. So if you're actually interested in night vision and want to purchase some, having this baseline understanding allows you to ultimately make more informed decisions. Because from there, we basically went down what all those different numbers mean. So if you buy good quality night vision, like tubes from L3 or something like that, you'll end up with a spec sheet. And the spec sheet will go through, it'll go through all these different things. EBI, it'll go through like, line pairs per millimeter as far as like resolution signal to noise ratio all these different things sean did an amazing job breaking down exactly what all those things are what they actually mean like in a like layman's terms and then in addition to that what really matters so for example like l3 for example has some different ratings like i think it's u18 u20 and u22 and 
those are in reference to a baseline figure of merit. And that baseline figure of merit is made for people purchasing huge batches. It really means nothing to the consumer. But conversely, EBI as a metric, as well as figure of merit, which is, I wanna say, I'll double check my notes before I misspeak, but, and I took a bunch of notes during that because there was so much information. But the figure of merit is, so I don't mess this up, resolution in line pairs per millimeter times the signal to noise ratio, times, I believe. And so that basically is giving you kind of in a snapshot, like a pretty good idea of the quality of that tube that you're looking at. And then that combined with EBI, like I said, there's a lot of different factors going on there. And I'm not gonna go back through his entire lecture. One, it wouldn't be fair to him. Two, I would mess it up. And yeah, I will not go back through it. Tons of great information there to include different things also as far as beyond just that night vision portion, as far as your tubes and looking at spec sheets, things like that, but also lights and lasers. How infrared illuminators work versus diffused lasers work. And yeah, honestly fascinating. And then on the other side though, very meaningful education with respect to someone getting into night vision and wanting to make a purchase and making a right purchase that first time. But after we went through that lecture, we ended up moving into just kind of gear layout and setup, going over the importance of different things, whether it's switches, things along those lines. And after that, geared up and headed back out for some shooting. During that night portion, first things first, go out there and once everyone was squared away, as far as their equipment, turned on, familiarized, went out and basically got our zeros. What we landed on after going over the merits of different zeros was basically a converging zero at 200 yards using our day optic, which we had already confirmed, and basically dialing over, getting that converging zero at 200 yards. Fortunately, there was a KD range right where we were made it really handy. After that, we also basically zeroed uh, night lasers on pistols and from there basically stepped off. And something that was really cool was throughout that course, the skills and different like drills and things we worked during the day, turn around and work those same drills and skills at night. A lot of it being manipulation because one of the big things is Conducting reloads or anything like that, pretty standard fare. When you throw the element of doing it under nods into the mix, it becomes exponentially more difficult. And so a big part is just familiarization with gear and solid manipulations, being able to ensure you're manipulating the safety when you can, or when you need to rather, uh, when you can in the sense of malfunctions and yeah working through all those things the other thing that was definitely emphasized was the use of switches like switchology the way their switches are set up and the way you use them and so the ability to use whatever switches whether it's on your pistol or on your rifle and being able to manipulate them from one side or if you end up switching shoulders manipulate them from the other side and something that was cool was transitioning from the day into night again working basically those same drills is, it was really emphasized to use the switches during the day. So with your pistol, for example, using that illuminator, because even though you're just projecting white light and maybe you don't need it right then, you're getting a good rep on doing that. So then when we transitioned into the nighttime portion, present up, this time emitting infrared light, break those shots and just getting those really good reps in to include using the illuminator on your rifle, whether it was actually a, like a daylight visible laser, which I did not have for this course, or just manipulating your actual flashlight during the day and then going into that nighttime, being able to use, yeah, either your flashlight or laser or both depending. So work through a number of different drills, get in a lot of really good reps. Another important skill we worked course was transitions basically going from your primary to your secondary when it goes down and those under nods if you've never done it before 
can be challenging, especially reholstering when you can't just look down trying to find it. And no, some really good reps there too. Another thing we worked on, everyone's favorite, malfunctions. But malfunctions under nods at night. Non Definitely approach. presented some different challenges. Malfunction. Really, Tap really good on though. Right. On the one hand, being able to get those reps and be like, okay, cool, and like engage. this is how we do this. It was interesting also seeing kind of a different take on how to clear simple. some malfunctions and also the reasoning why. And you're like, oh, that totally makes sense. But once you kind of remove the visual element because you can't see like what's in front of you like it's blurry and yeah you can try adjusting but at the end of the day like are your nods set for like 50 yards or are they set for like nine inches usually they're going to be set more for that 50 yard as far as like that focal plane so trying to clear things in front of you it's like okay well I'm now pretty much reliant on tactile, like feel. And so being able to work through those different malfunctions and yeah, like fight through it, even when you had some nasty ones like bolt over rides, it was really good to get those reps. On the one hand, just it's always good to get reps on malfunctions, but then also there's a confidence piece, especially if you are actually gonna spend time under night vision, knowing that should these different malfunctions come up, like, yeah, no, like, you can get them clear, get that gun back up, back into the fight. We also ended up spending a little bit of time while shooting, basically wide transitions from target over on one side to a target on the other side. And making sure we actually manipulate, again, lights, lasers appropriately, so we're not emitting across that entire path. So find our one target, emit if we're going to, as far as laser or illuminator, or if we're gonna shoot passive, and then find your other target, engage that. Fun little drills. Overall thoughts on the course. Honestly, in my opinion, while I haven't been to a million different night vision courses, I've had a lot of night vision training throughout the years, whether it was on the military side or on the civilian side, different places, and I think hands down, probably the best and most valuable actual introduction to night vision course I've seen, hands down. And honestly, like the part that's incredibly valuable is that lecture portion right in the middle, about two hours. Why is that so valuable? Well, night vision, that's an expensive game to get into, like on any level, even if you go on the cheap end and end up with some like Gen 2, Green Foss, PBS 14s or 7 Bravo or something like that, it's still expensive on the cheap end. And chances are when you're getting into it, you really, you don't know what you don't know at the end of the day. And this class, did an amazing job of basically breaking down pertinent information. Not like, hey, this is a like Gen 4. Like, you know what? There is no Gen 4. So if you see someone saying, hey, this is Gen 4 night vision, like, nah, that's bullshit. It's marketing. Or this is Gen 2 plus, like, okay, well, Gen 2, I now know is somewhere south of this number in these meaningful metrics. So no, that is not anywhere comparable to Gen 3. Again, so much information, but actually applicable to someone looking to come into it as a consumer that wants to make the right purchase up front and be done with it. Now granted, budget's a very real thing, so if it's like, hey, this is my budget, this is what I want, I'm sure there's options out there, but you really don't know what those options are other than, hey, this is my budget. And so to be able to go into it or go into basically this one day course, get time under all of these things, and then come out the other side with a very good working understanding of what you want to look for as far as metrics when it comes to purchasing night vision for yourself. I think that is huge. Like that is incredibly valuable and very easily capable of saving you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in some poor purchases. 
With respect to money and equipment and this course, it's a paradox, right? Because you need night vision equipment to attend, but at the same time, while you're there, you're gonna find out all this information that essentially is equipping you to make a purchase, but you already showed up with night vision. So where do you go from there? Well, through a partnership with Shooting Surplus, you can basically get discounted rate on renting gear, which will allow you to then come attend the course, be able to look at spec sheets, look through the equipment and be like, oh, like this is this, like put those things together. Then coming out the other side when you're actually armed with one, bunch of good skills and reps on some night vision equipment, but two, the actual information so you can make a good purchasing decision. At that point, you can go back to, if you would like, to shooting surplus and get a little bit of a discount making your purchase there. So once you actually know what you're looking at, you can turn around and make a good purchase and actually save some money. So pretty good deal there. Something else pretty cool that made the course flow really well was showing up and getting basically given a target rehab kit. One of these DACA pouches, three different colors of tape to tape up the different targets you'd be shooting, as well as a field notes book for taking notes, pin, as well as two Sharpies for marking targets. Made it really handy in that it wasn't, hey, can I borrow the tape? Can I get the tape over here? No, like everyone had their own rehab kit and pretty much bomb-proof DACA pouch. So this could sit down in the snow next to your target. Everything was kept nice and safe and not wet. And yeah, made things basically flow really smoothly. Who do I think this course is good for? Most certainly anyone just getting into night vision, especially if you haven't purchased night vision. But even if you have, I think it's still really valuable because the information there is very concise, easy to understand, and applicable to the end user. Whether it is in the sense of, hey, now I know and understand like how diffused laser is working versus my LED like IR emitter or different things along those lines. And especially if you're making purchases, information broken down in a meaningful way. So as a consumer, you can actually make good informed decisions on purchasing that. Beyond that though, lots of really good skills on the range too. Whether some of it honestly just kind of training mindset as far as manipulating your pistol or rifle and kind of switchology, things like that. Being able to work through those things during the day as well as through night, malfunction clearing, all of it amazing skills but for sure i think first and foremost this class tailor made for someone just getting a night vision especially if they haven't made that purchase yet if you had made some purchases you might come away from this class being frustrated because of money not very well spent but you will be armed with a lot of knowledge so you can make good choices moving forward if you get a chance i would encourage you to check one of his classes out as far as course schedule, a lot of the stuff is scheduled on the basis of students. So students will reach out and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Level one, introduction to night vision, and they'll end up getting scheduled. But definitely worth checking out, I think. And if you appreciate my content and want to support it, I greatly appreciate it. Whether it's just liking and sharing videos, or if you want to support me directly through Patreon, really appreciate that. Helps me go out, create more content for you. And over there, you get basically early videos, get to check them out before they get released. Occasionally special videos just save pretty much for the patrons and also an active Discord over there. So if you have questions for me, happy to answer them. Probably not down in the comments section, but I'll be over there on Discord. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.